It's the 1960s, and the Cold War is on. Both the Soviets and the Americans are locked into a race to the moon and beyond. The space race. Months before the historic moon landing in 1969, Apollo 10 carried astronauts to orbit the moon. Things went fine, and the mission has mostly fallen into the shadows of the later Apollo missions. During the orbit, Apollo began to test technology that would later allow a lunar lander module to disconnect and reconnect to the command module during a landing mission. And while the test module was separated, an odd, otherworldly sound was heard by the crew. This was caught on recording. And that music even sounds outer spacey, doesn't it? You hear that? That whistling sound? Yeah. Woo! Look at your... Yeah, it sounds like, uh, you know, outer space type music. Hey, Tom, is your is your insulation all burned off here on the front side of your window over here? Right? Yeah. Apollo 10 was, at this point, on the far side of the moon and the furthest away from Earth any human has ever gone. Temporarily out of contact with Houston, the astronauts were alone and left to deal with the strange sounds seemingly emanating from the moon. The recording and transcripts were made publicly available in the 1970s, however one would have to go to the National Archives to see them. The documents were only made widely available in recent years after NASA digitized the content. As such, the strange phenomenon went mostly unnoticed by the public for decades, until around 2016. In the recording, the astronauts seemed calm, even joking about the noise. However, it should be kept in mind that NASA had what was known as a lie-to-fly policy regarding missions. This basically meant that astronauts and pilots would maintain their resolve and hide any signs of panic. This is most notable during the failed Apollo 13 mission, in which Jim Lovell calmly told Houston, we've had a problem, following an explosion on board the module. That being said, Gene Cernan later admitted that the incident was not enough for them to take it seriously. Had we thought it was something other than that, we would have briefed everyone after the flight. We never gave it another thought. So, what was the strange outer space type music? To this day, it's not fully known what the sound really was. Although there is a potential rational explanation for it, charged particles between the command module and the separated lunar lander module may have interfered with the radio equipment, creating the noise. Something similar occurred when the Cassini orbiter passed Saturn. Another rational explanation is radio interference caused by the moon itself. Regardless as to what caused the anomaly, there is no mistaking how eerie and unusual the incident is. Mine's all burned off. Heading out here, where are you, John? <laughs> Apollo 10 completed its mission successfully and the astronauts returned safely back to Earth. Man would land on the moon just two months later, during the Apollo 11 mission. <laughs> 